Kevin, you started this company in 1996, yeah. took it public in 2005. You've been running it ever since. Why is now the time that you're moving to executive chairman and brand chief? Yeah, what, what an awesome, I think, American entrepreneurial story and what I'm so proud of. And what's important is that we make this an eternal brand. And part of doing that, first and foremost, is that this is my decision to get to this moment of the ability to work and, frankly, having a partnership where Patrick and I complement each other so well. And the ability for the business, as we said the last time we, we talked with you, the company's really moving from defense to offense. And the ability and the opportunity we have to do that is something that we think is really, really next generation. So I think right now there couldn't be a better time for us to do it. You're about to see this brand really begin to unleash. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it's going it, to, it'll empower us. I think it's going to be uh, freedom. I think it's going to allow Patrick yeah. to be able to make decisions to run the day to day and really allow me to make the decision to continue to vision and think about what's next for this brand and where we can go. So great partnership. And so you said that this was your choice, so this was not board pressure, this oh, was all you? No, no, this, this is, I've got a great board, and so I've got feedback from my board, and we use their input as well as a lot of smart people around, including Patrick and the executive team, and I think this is, this is the right time for that to happen. I've been, you know, this will be my 56th earnings call coming up, and so, like, we've done this, we've, we've, we've been down this, we've, we've done this a number of times, so now it's, uh, it's, a great, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, so I'm really proud, really excited. Patrick, you joined Under Armour in yeah. July of 2017. Yes. Was this always the plan for you? We certainly discussed it early on, but the first step that we had to do was really start the transformation that we're currently in. And I think that's what's so great about this transition. It's, it's been planned, um, and we're going to continue to run the same plan that we've put in place with the entire executive team. And that's what's so exciting also for our teammates, the fact that this is about continuity. This is about, you know, running the play. This is about turning from defense to offense. And we believe we have a strong plan in place. And, and we now want to be able to free up Kevin to be more strategic in terms of how he thinks about what he does and then allow me to do, uh, do what I do with more freedom as well. So I th we think it's a perfect combination. But this, this is in retirement. Um, I've, I've got my office. It'll be there. January 1st and 2nd, so we'll continue to work in Iraq, so there's nothing changing. As Patrick will continue to report into me, um, and, you know, we'll make sure we've got the ability to really divide and conquer is the way we're thinking about this. Is this really, I think, elevates me, it elevates Patrick, and, and puts us both in a position to really be able to drive this global brand, which we have a massive opportunity with.